Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. All right guys, well, we're back to talk about Teddy Mellencamp's man, her horse riding man that um, well, got a lot of attention and that he did after she had her affair. And But hold on, don't, don't worry about Teddy because she said she is giving herself the permission to move forward and do what she needs to do. So good for you, Teddy Mellencamp. We're very happy. We're happy that you give yourself permission to forgive yourself for cheating on your husband. That's fantastic. And honestly, who the f does that? Anyways, we're going to break it all down and some more, including some Jersey drama. So before we do, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's start here. Yep, this is her big catch. This is him. This is the man. <laughs> All right. So Radar Online came out with this little tidbit saying, everything you need to know about Teddy Mellencamp's horse trainer lover, Simon Schroeder, as his high-flying life amid a fair scandal is revealed. Um, What the hell does that mean, high-flying life? What are they trying to say? Simon Schroeder is from Germany. The man that Teddy Mellencamp allegedly had an affair with was born and raised in Frankfurt, Germany. Okay. According to the Chronicles of the Horse, he relocated to the United States as a young adult and started training with Mexican Olympian Jamie Guerra. He said, since I moved to America, hunter riding gave me so much to my jumper riding because it looks very simple, very easy. But to produce a good horse and ride a good horse in the hunter ring, it takes a lot of feel and a lot of working on the right moment. In 2019, he tied the knot with Carly Postal Schroeder, with whom he shares two kids. And OK Magazine learned that the horse trainer was married to two women simultaneously. And it pushed Carly to request an annulment in 2023. And their union officially ended in February. He is a professional horse trainer, married to two people at the same time. So let's just say this man's a catch. He was married to two women at the same time. And then while one of them was pregnant, having a baby, giving birth, he was in Florida, allegedly, with Teddy Mellencamp. You know how to pick him, Teddy. With a face like that, who could not love him? That's just... and. Yes, I'm being facetious. Simon has been working as a horse trainer while running Schroeder Sport Horses, a training, sales, and investment show barn that he and Carly founded in Moore Park, Los Angeles, California. Carly told the Chronicle of the Horse, when we had the idea, it was that we wanted to build a family and build a life and have a lot more control. And it all started around the idea of wanting to do it differently, like build successful horses, but maybe not be at a horse show every single week. Every time she says what I should do, I do it. She's the head of the whole operation. That's what he said. Yeah. Um, so this woman that you married while well, after marrying another woman gave you the oomph to start a successful business. And you did. And then you cheated on her. Okay, I'm just, I'm trying to gather this. Less than two weeks after Teddy filed for divorce from Edwin, reports claim that, well, her affair was the reason for the separation. And a source told In Touch, Teddy is Simon's biggest client. Teddy and his wife, Carly Postal Schroeder, were good friends for 78 years. Carly confronted Teddy about the affair when she found inappropriate text messages on Simon's phone, and Teddy promised that it wouldn't happen again. And that led Carly to separate her business from her estranged husband. That's what In Touch reported. Mm, okay. In February, this there was an interview again with the Chronicles of the Horse where Carly talked about Teddy and how super excited the reality star was to train her 10-year-old Westphalian horse. Carly said, but there were some bumps in the road and she needed some help. And she went around the horse show trying to figure out who might be the strongest rider to help her in the situation. And pretty much everyone pointed to Simon. Hmm. 
On November 24th, Teddy shared an Instagram post to address her alleged affair with Simon, saying, the only person who can change your life is you. We have two options. Pretend to be a victim or stand up and fight for yourself. We all deserve peace and happiness. I've cried and mourned. I've taken accountability and I've apologized for things that I've done wrong. And now I have given myself permission to grow and thrive. That's what Teddy told her followers. There are three sides to every story. And then she said, how can I stand up and show up for the people that do matter? This is called being an adult. And this is what saying with my full chest really actually means. And then that's when she went on to say, I give myself permission to move on. Let's talk about somebody that I actually care to talk about. So on top of that, Melissa Gorga is denying buying social media followers, saying that she has a lot of followers because of her cute family and her singing. Thinking all about the Real Housewives, she's triggered after being called out again for buying her social media followers. It was last week where Kiki Barth answered which housewife bought their social media followers. And she said, you know that lady, I've, I've seen it myself, not Teresa, the other one. And Andy said, Melissa. And she said, yes, Melissa, I've seen it myself. But Andy then reminded the ladies that this isn't the first time Melissa Gorga was accused of buying followers. And Alexia also insisted Melissa buys her social media followers. Chanel Ion has also accused Melissa of buying Instagram followers. And on Instagram, Melissa is one of the most followed Real Housewives with nearly 3 million followers, landing her right under Lisa Vanderpump. But Melissa went on a rant denying that she buys followers on her podcast on Thanksgiving. She said, referring to Kiki, She's seen that I bought followers and I'm like, I'm like, it's like they're bothered that I have more. I don't understand. It's like, let's just be like, like funny about it for a second. I've been on TV for 14 years, right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's a cute family I have. Maybe they want to see like my cute hubby and my kids since, you know, they watch them grow up. Maybe that has something to do with it. Or, you know, maybe it's the extremely successful boutique that I own that I have a huge customer base from. Like, hello. That all, she was saying that they all buy from her and follow her. First of all, MB has 200 and over 250,000 followers. MB by itself, okay? I don't know. Maybe listen to the podcast, Joe. Maybe they're big fans of On Display, so they follow me. I mean, what the heck do they, what the heck do they think they're talking about? I have multiple brand partnerships, right? I don't know. Maybe my followers just like, they like my singing. They follow me because I sing On Display. Melissa has been getting called out for years in regards to buying followers. Even back during Twitter days, Melissa also opened up an Instagram account earlier this year. And when Melissa opened up the On Display podcast Instagram account, viewers said that they'd be paying attention to her follower account and if her followers were robots. And Melissa shares the podcast page on her main account. That has nearly 3 million followers weekly and collabs with this page, and it's at over 9,000 followers, which is not that many followers if you have 3 million. But people also don't get like, I didn't buy any, I didn't buy any YouTube followers, right? You, can, I don't even know if you can do that. But um, I have the second channel, the first channel has over 220,000, this channel, and then the second channel is that I think like 56,000 or something like that. So people were like, well, why doesn't it just also go up to 200,000? And I'm like, that's not really, it sounds a lot easier than it actually is. But I want to hear what you guys think. Guys, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I love you guys. We'll see you in just a little bit. And also, again, if you did not catch Hot Messy Topics, go back and be a part of that replay crew. See you later. Bye, guys.